Hey everyone, welcome back to Rake Take Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the uh, the U.S. Mint and going over a few of the things that are uh, apparently causing the uh, uh, some of the cancellations on some of the coins that were coming out. Now, I look at the U.S. Mint as I look at the TTC, which is the Toronto Transit Commission up here in uh, up here in Toronto, and it's basically the only you know subway and bus system that we have, and it is horrible. It's horribly run. Customer service is absolutely garbage. And they do that because they know there's no other option. You want to get to work, you can't just jump onto Mike's subway and take the subway down there. And it's, you know, thanks Mike, I didn't need to use the TTC today. No, you basically have to use it. And it's the same with the US Mint. You want to get 2022 Morgan and Peace dollars? Got to deal with the Mint. You want to get your collection, you want to continue collection of American Silver Eagles? Got to deal with the US Mint. So they don't really care at all about customer service and I'm saying that um, because of uh, I have eyes I can see uh, uh, different videos with people all they do is complain about the US Mint uh, there have been many videos talking about like the the poor quality of the Morgans coming scratched capsules open you know out of the package um, and then obviously we've saw uh, just recently that the Morgan and Peace dollars are going to be cancelled this year, the 2022s. So I found that funny because when that news broke, there was a bunch of people in the comments of the video that I made saying, I have no idea why they were making 2022 Morgan and Peace dollars anyways. Didn't make sense. Made sense for the 100th anniversary. But uh, people were worried that if they were just going to continue making this an ongoing series that the numismatic value of the 100th anniversary coins were going to go down the tubes and down the toilet so you know they had already pissed off people by making the 2022 or announcing they were going to make 2022 morgan and peace dollars and then they pissed off the other half of people that wanted it by canceling it so yeah i live up in i live up in canada i have purchased from the u.s mint before and uh, i absolutely loved the purchase that i made it was an atb the five ounce america the beautiful coin it was the Tuskegee Airmen, and the coin is absolutely gorgeous, and I have no regrets buying that coin. A company, or a mint or any other company should not have a parade thrown for them because they did their job. I got my coin, it was exactly how it was supposed to be, no scratches, in the capsule. I mean, that's the bare minimum I was expecting. But as I said, I've seen countless videos of people getting their nice, very, very expensive coins from the mint and just it being horribly, uh, you know, scratched up. Or as I said, some were even like out of the capsule, just randomly rattling around the box. So, uh, yeah, you know, the, the U.S. Mint is basically just saying, you know, deal with it if you want to be getting our products. And that goes into today's topic because they're talking about, uh, you know, they said, oh, you know, the, the, even the title is kind of funny. It says the U.S. Mint's hands are tied. And then it goes into the article and saying they are absolutely not tied. There are so many simple things that they can do to remedy what's going on there, uh, but they just decide not to do it. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to jump onto the computer now to go over this article because it goes into detail about what's going on with the Mint, why they are having a hard time picking up the silver, and just how easy a fix it is uh, to remedy this, but they're just not going to do it. All right, so here's the article. It's on numismaticnews.net, and it says, when it comes to buying silver, uh, Mint's hands are tied, apparently. Last week, the U.S. Mint announced that it would uh, not strike the 2022 dated Morgan and Peace silver dollars as it was experiencing difficulties in coming up with an adequate supply of the silver planchets. This month, the wholesale and retail price of uh, bullion-issue U.S. silver eagle dollars have also increased relative to the commodity market silver price. Um, again, the U.S. Mint is being blamed for not providing as many coins in qualities and quantities that the security, uh, sorry, that the secretary determines are sufficient to meet public uh, demand. So it isn't a silver supply problem. It's uh, they're constrained to how much they can pay for the physical silver. So there's silver out there. It's just that uh, uh, you know a lot of people think the U.S. Mint won't pay it, but it's in fact that they can't pay it because of this you know stupid code and things like that that I'll get into. That uh, you know everyone else seems to be having no problem getting the planchets to make their uh, their silver and uh, paying whatever they need to pay to get it. Uh, but yet here they're constrained to how much they can pay. Uh, 
uh, and of course, the U.S. Mint has one of the some of the worst premiums on their coins too. So yeah, they they don't want to pay more to get the silver, but they have no problems when uh, you know they do have the coins out to uh, charge through the teeth for the premiums. So this this part here is very very important. It says as I discussed in my March 18th, 2021 column, the U.S. Mint has greater difficulty procuring sufficient silver supplies to meet public demand because it is constrained in how much it can pay for the physical silver. So there's no shortage or anything like that. There's plenty of silver out there. It's just they're not buying it because it's too expensive for them. They have no problem passing that on to you with their premiums. They're not paying any anything extra. It says here that it just says to acquire silver to strike silver eagles. 31 U.S. Code, here it is, requires that the secretary shall sell the coins minted under section blah, 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 to the public at a price equal to the market value of the bullion at the time of the sale plus cost of minting marketing and dis uh, distributing such coins including labor materials dyes use of machinery and promotional and overhead expenses and it says that other statutes prohibit the u.s mint from offering to pay prices higher than established by the paper market spot price it says the secretary shall not pay more than the average world price for silver under any circumstances. As used in this paragraph, the term average world price means the price determined by a widely recognized commodity exchange at the time of the silver is obtained by the secretary. And it says widely recognized commodity exchange uh, spot price that the U.S. Mint uses uh, to purchase and sell silver and also gold is the London Bullion, the LBMA, uh, the world's largest commodity exchange for these metals. Effectively, the U.S. Mint is pre prevented from complying with one statutory requirement to produce silver American Eagles sufficient to meet public demand by another statutory requiring the, that prohibits it from paying a price higher than the paper market uh, spot price. Until and unless statutes are changed to allow the U.S. Mint to purchase physical silver at prices above the paper spot price, it will continue uh, difficulty acquiring sufficient metal to meet public demand. So that is the reason that there are going to be no Morgan and Peace dollars is because the silver was too expensive for the mint to purchase. Not because there wasn't enough silver, not because there was a shortage of silver. It was because they didn't want to pay the price to get the planchets. Or not that they didn't want to. Apparently here it's because they can't. There's you know these codes and these requirements that they are not actually able to buy uh, silver over a certain price. But then it goes down here and it's like other private and government minting operations are able to acquire silver at prices above the commodity market price, uh, spot price and they are doing so. Therefore, they are more likely to obtain the silver they need because they are paying higher prices than the uh, limit imposed on what the U.S. Mint can pay. And yet you're still seeing lower premiums on those coins. You know what I mean? So the U.S. Mint is just a racket. They're a horribly run company. Well, actually not horribly run because they know that their customers have no other place to go you want an American silver eagle you can't go to the uh, Royal Canadian Mint and get it so it's either you stick with us if you want your eagles put up with all of our garbage and overpriced silver and deal with it if not go somewhere else go stack Britannia's they don't care they'll find enough people to pick up the silver eagles the, the mint's not too worried about their sales and this article actually comes up with you know uh, a potential solution it says the u.s mint's problem of obtaining sufficient silver to meet public demand could be cured by changing the law to give the mint greater price flexibility and it says, I doubt that would ever be considered. The federal government has a strong interest in holding down silver and gold prices as a major tactic to minimize the interest rate it pays and its 30 trillion uh, of debt. So clearly the customer does not matter in this equation. You know what I mean? And the U.S. Mint is just worried about, uh, you know, making money. And uh, they don't want to be spending any more money than they need to. And they know that they can piss off a large portion of their customers and they will still come back and pick up their, you know, proofs, their American Eagles, because they love those coins. They have a collection going, they want to keep it going. And uh, where else are they going to go for it? There's only one place to get it. So you got to deal with them. And they have absolutely zero um, motivating factor to keep customers happy because they know people are just going to keep coming back.
as you can see, they have their own interests and why they would not uh, give this up. And they're running it like a business. So you have to you have to always remember that the U.S. Mint is a business. They're out to make money. But like I said, they don't need to have a hundred percent customer service or customer satisfaction rating. Uh, they don't. Need, I don't have no idea what the the approval rating for the uh, the Mint would be. They know they're the only game in town for certain coins. And you know, obviously, the American Silver Eagle is the most popular coin in the world. So there are still going to be buyers out there for it at any price so they can just slap on whatever premium they can just say oh yeah we're gonna cancel this because of a silver shortage which in truth it's not a shortage it's just they're yeah, according to this article not able to pay but there's a simple way to get rid of that they just don't want to do that they want to keep the law in place and just keep uh, puttering along here until you know the the price gets down to where they can buy it and then they'll get some more silver and hike up those premiums and then you can get your coins so it's a so long as the market price for physical silver remains consistently higher than the paper commodity contract price, the U.S. Mint is going to continue experiencing difficulty in obtaining sufficient silver, which again could be solved very easily. They just do not want to do it. But that was the article I want to talk about just because I came across this and I thought it was pretty funny because uh, the, the Mint's hands are not tied, like the, uh, like the article says here. They have plenty of options to make this go away or make this better for the, uh, the customer so that they can actually you know, get the silver coins that they are anticipating on getting uh, for a decent price. But like the article said, the US Mint has no interest in doing that. They have only their own interests in mind. So there you go, there you have it, that's the article. It is saying that the mint uh, has a certain price that it cannot uh, purchase silver over, and thus they don't have the silver to make certain coins. So it's not a silver shortage, there's plenty of other mints, like they said in the article, plenty of other private and government mints that have no problem paying what they need to pay to get the silver that they need to sell the coins for a lower premium than what the U.S. Mint is selling their eagles for. And they even just went into the article and they say, it's pretty easy to change this law. It's just no one is going to do it. it. It serves no benefit to the U.S. Mint. It would only benefit the customers because it would be a lot easier for the Mint to get the silver uh, so that they can make the coins that the people want to buy. But if the changes means that the Mint are going to be making less money, they're fine with standing pat, making the money that they are making whenever they actually sell coins. Uh, and if you're buying, if you're a customer for them, just you got to deal with it. So I do feel for the people that love the U.S. Mint because I talk with a lot of them. I talk with a lot of people that are like, you know, it's an addiction. They're hooked. They've been collecting the Eagles forever. There's some people that have complete Eagle collections. And every year, you know, they're just picking up so they can continue. And they're saying, you know, the U.S. Mint is a horrible business to deal with. Terrible customer service. But unfortunately, they keep coming back because they love the look of the coins that they offer and as I said there's no other way to get it so you either have to deal with them or deal without so it's you know a lot of people have made the decision to deal without they are not going with the Eagles anymore there are plenty of other options you can go with like Britannia's Maple Leafs all that stuff but then there are some like I said it's just what they stack it's just what they buy and I'm not here to change anybody's mind or anybody's opinion. That's how they stack. That's how they want to do it. And I mean, they are absolutely gorgeous, beautiful bullion coins. It's just the price point right now is way too much. And, uh, you know, the, the U.S. Mint is just, uh, you know, something that I don't want to deal with. And I don't need to deal with because I have other options. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And I uh, hope you come back for the next one. Thank you.